So like the title asks, what if the Guff Custom is red? This review will answer your question. How's it going guys? It is Plastic Disaster doing another speed review. And today we are going to do a review of the high grade Gundam Breaker Battlelog Guff Crimson Custom. To give a brief backstory on this mobile suit or a kit, it's basically an enemy AI from the anime series Gundam Breaker Battlelog. If you don't know what Gundam Breaker Battlelog is, it's an anime series or, excuse me, a commercial to sell Gunpla. It's based off of this mobile suit and kit, the Guff Custom from Gundam 08 MS Team. And spoiler alert, it's the same exact kit as the Guff Custom. If you want me to explain or go into detail, check out that review. With that out of the way, let's take a look at the box art. We have the Guff Crimson Custom doing an attack pose and you have an explosion going off in the background. Take a look at this side of the box, we have the rear and front shot of the model kit and right next to it we have the, the description of the kit and if you want to read it, feel free to pause and do so. Moving on further to the right, we have this kit pulling off some action poses and showing off its weapons. Looking at this side of the box, we can see that it encourages you to create your own one-of-a-kind Gunpla. Bandai has encouraging their Gunpla builders to create their own Gunpla, and they've been doing this for like, I don't know, years? And moving a bit further to the right, we see an introduction of what this anime series or this Gunpla commercial series is about, so feel free to read. Inside the box, we are greeted with... four bags of runners and a manual, and a booklet of how to make your Gunpla better. At the cover of the manual, we see a familiar box art. Right down here, we already saw the front shot of the kit, the kit that is based off of, and the description if you want to read. And right down there is a QR code if you want to watch the anime. Inside the manual, it just shows how to clean off the nubs from the Gunpla parts. And right down here, it looks like we're going to be using all the parts except for the leftover polycaps. Moving on to this side of the manual, and take a look at this. This is an interesting backpack right here because the regular Gov Custom doesn't have it. So something tells me that this is a brand new part if you want to customize your Gov Custom. So does anyone think that the Gov Custom with four legs and a Wingzill backpack looks kind of odd? I don't know, maybe it's just my opinion. Moving on to the back of the manual, we already saw some familiar action poses with the weapons. And right here, it says that these mobile suits with similar armaments. I mean, that's good to know, but I don't think it's really necessary. And right down here is a color guide if you want to paint it. All right, so I'm going to go off the runners and be very quick about it. If you want me to go into details, once again, check out my regular Gov custom review. So starting off with runner A1, we have the bright red parts, dark red, clear orange, and dark gray. Runner B1 is going to be the bright red parts, while I have runner B2 is going to be the copy of this section. Runner C is going to be the dark gray parts. Runner D1 is going to be the ammo belt for the minigun. Two runner E's, more dark gray parts. Big polycap runner. A small sticker sheet, one for the eye, and one for the three barrel gun. Bendable wire for the heat rod. Finally, runner XB1. Now, this is the new parts I was talking about for customizing your Guff Custom. So that's about it for the unboxing. Now, I already knew what to expect because if you see my older videos, you already knew I built this kit before. And I'll see you guys right after that. Here is the Guff Crimson Custom all put together. And for building experience, I have to say, it was short, simple, and very satisfying. The build should roughly take you Probably two, maybe two and a half hours. One more thing I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, that this color scheme for this Guff Custom almost resembles Sharzaku 2. A little more on that on my final thoughts, but let's move on with the review. Let's quickly move on to the accessories so I can talk about the new parts I mentioned in the unboxing. So for handout options, as you can see, he already has the two closed fists. Next up, you have two of the weapon holding hands, an open palm right hand, the three barrel gun, a heat rod that goes on the right arm, and the minigun shield and sword all in one package. And the new accessories or adapter piece if you want to call it that. Remember when I said that these pieces can help you customize the Gov Custom? Now keep in mind, not all 
modern high grades are very compatible with each other. What these pieces could do can help you swap pieces with other modern high grade kits and I'm gonna bring in a few volunteers for this. Okay, so I brought in the heavy arms and the lupus rex to show you a few examples what I could do with these adapter pieces and do a little customization. So starting off with this piece, that will allow you to donate the Gov Customs legs to another kit. I already went ahead and pulled the waist and the legs from the Gov Custom. Put this piece on and attach the hose into this tube. And I also went ahead and pulled out the top half of the heavy arms and once you connect them together, I also removed its backpack just to make the connection easier. And here's how it looks. I hate to be the bearer of bad news because I thought I was going to use the Barbados Lupus Rex's legs to put on the Gov Custom and I realized that's not going to work out so I brought another volunteer, the Shining Gundam's legs. Which brings me to the next piece, this one. Just put this up there, attach it right here and uh, oh my god that looks so ridiculous. <laughs> I just. I mean, the proportions look wacky, but hey, Gutplot is freedom, am I right or am I right? Okay, this is the last one, I swear. And if you want to take this a step further, go ahead, it's your bottle kit. Alright, so the last one is going to be the backpack. This one can go a few different ways, but you need these two pieces. If you combine them together, it can be like an extended adapter. And I forgot to say that most modern high grades comes with these uh, two, three millimeter ports. So you just put that in there and you can put any backpack you desire and it does kind of stick out in a weird way. Another way you can do it is that if you want to give this kit the Gov Custom backpack, which I already pulled out, you can take this piece, combine them together and attach it to the back. And as for this piece, the last way you can do it is that you can combine it with the Gov Custom if you want to customize it. And once again, put any backpack you desire and attach it to the Gov Custom. So that's about it for the accessories. I'm gonna skip over the articulation because once again, I already did that with the other Gov Custom review. So overall, just know that the articulation of this kit, it's good, but not great. Size comparisons, you know I already technically did with the other Gov Custom, but for this one, here he is right next to Optimus Prime and Godzilla. All right, so that's about it for the size comparisons. Let's move on to my final thoughts. So for my final thoughts, overall, I really like this kit. Whether you get the regular one or the Guff Crimson Custom, they're both great. So the fact that it's loosely based off of Shard's colors and one of my favorite Xeon suits, combine them together, you have this menacing red Guff Custom. I just love that idea. And it also comes with these adaptive pieces so you can customize the Guff Custom or customize other kits with the Gov Customs parts. Those adapter pieces are pretty much like baby's first custom Gunpla, and there are really great builders out there who really don't need those adapter pieces. So that about wraps up the review. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing if you want to see more content. Comment down below if you have any questions or concerns, and I'll see you guys in the next video. When you and the other player chose the same character in the fighting game,